All right, today I am on an adventure to go to a place called Pasig Islet. We're gonna see if we can't find our way there. It's a artificial island that is owned by the province of Davao del Sur. They maintain it and it's right off the coast of Santa Cruz in Davao. Let's go see it. We've arrived here and now we're going to go back through this mangrove, for mangrove forest to get to the shore to where we'll start going across to the island. Man, look at that. Kind of a marsh going. They've really built up this walkway really nice. Show you just some shots. This is a mangrove forest. And you can see where I guess when the tide comes in, this kind of fills up. See all the root systems? Super cool. So this island is a man-made island, but it's really cool. So they've got, to prevent erosion, they've got these tires down here. And then if you look real closely at the rocks, if you can see that, that's coral. That's all coral that's been ground up and put in there. Really, really nice. I'm so impressed with this province, with Davao del Sur and the, the capital of it, of Digos in general, about how much they have done um, infrastructure wise and parks and things to make it so nice for the people of this province. They got facilities, the bathrooms. Just have a quick walk around, show you what it looks like from the center. Now, 
Now today is very interesting. It's a Monday, and on the Mondays, these gazebos that you see, you can order them and they're absolutely free. You don't have to pay for them on today. And so you get a pretty big turnout for a day during the week when people come out. Great breeze too, if you can see that in the palm trees. This is just so nice. And then they've got white sand that they've put here and just some phenomenal landscaping. So this is a really great place just to come out with the family, to have a picnic, uh, to enjoy the day, rent one of the gazebos, or like I say, on Mondays it's free. You come out here, you have this wonderful swimming area. It's here behind me. And the water on the way in has a lot of seagrass in it, so it's, it's not like the crystal clear that you would have in some places, but it's a really, really nice place to come. Have an afternoon, have a picnic, celebrate with the family and have fun. One other thing I really, really like about this place is a lot of the places you go in the Philippines, um, and Thailand for that matter too, that are outdoors near the beach that has a lot of people like that, is they'll always be blaring loud music. And that's just not happening here. I mean, it's a very peaceful, very family-oriented place. It's really just great. I love it. You see they're planting more stuff here. It's really just a great place. So we got really lucky with the weather here today because almost every day that I've been in the Philippines uh, for the last month has been raining and it is going to rain today but it held off so that we were really to have a good afternoon without having to worry about it. But you can see there in the distance and we'll be leaving here in about an hour or so but uh, we will be getting rained on tonight. So blessing that we were able to come out here today and avoid that. Uh, although they got shelters, so you can, uh, you know, Philippines usually it rains for an hour or so and then it passes so that you would be able to ride it out if it happened here. So another nice thing in the Philippines. So as far as fees on this place, we lucked out today and there was no entrance fee because it's Mondays. And so apparently it's always uh, free on Mondays to the general public. So the only thing you got to pay for is the boat ride over here and a maximum of four people can sit on the boat and they charge 160 pesos which is a little over three dollars uh, to bring you here and to take you back at the end of the day so really reasonable price day very very affordable i would say here in the philippines so this place is really amazing and they're continuing to expand it i'm going to take you over here and show you where they're actually building more construction on this small islet uh, but before I do, I want to send a shout out to my nephew, Pantoy, who his mother tells me is watching all the videos. So thanks for watching uh, your uncle's crazy videos and uh, make sure you take care of your little brothers. All right, so let's go over here and take a look at this new construction they've got here on this islet. You can see they've got it cornered off. but it looks like they're going to build some more buildings. Really have done an amazing job on this place. It's really nice uh, when you get over to the ocean side uh, out towards the, I guess it's the Gulf of Davao. Uh, you get a really, really nice breeze coming in off of the ocean and it just really is cool. When you go over towards the front of the island, the sun kind of beats down. We're afternoon here in the day, and so there's not much wind over there going back towards the shore. So when everybody seems to have gone to the other side of the island, which is smart because that's where they're swimming and that's where the breeze is.
All right, gang, that wraps it up for me today here at Pasig Islet. We're going to head back to shore, show you a little video of that, and then we're done for the day. Thanks for joining me. Hey, and guys, if you like this type of content, please subscribe to the channel so you can see more. Otherwise, you may never see it again. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment about what you think about this amazing man-made island that this province has built here for the people just to come out and enjoy. Uh, maybe you'd like for your province to build one. Who knows? All right. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.